Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today we're going to talk about how to replace the EMU computer in your 2005 Dodge Neon. Let's get started. Okay, the location of the computer is actually right in the front side here. Um, this is the driver's side front. Here you have your, your air filter canister right in front of it, right there with the barcode on it. That's your computer. So it, it's fairly easy to get to and easy to remove. You just have to remove this, the uh, air filter canister right here and that way you have clear access to it and um, we'll go ahead and get started with that before you even start to work on the EMU computer you want to go ahead and detach your your uh, ground from the battery to avoid any kind of power surge that could damage the computer so let's go ahead and get that removed that way we can there we go okay so we have that off so there's no, no risk of a power surge. Okay, this is pretty much what it looks like. You have your, your four inputs here. Um, normally these range anywhere from two to four hundred dollars if you're going through a parts store. Uh, but I heard recently that they're hard to find at the stores. A lot of times you have to get them directly from Chrysler. At that case, you're paying probably around six hundred bucks. I'm fortunate because I have two Neons. One of them I'm using as a parts car, so I was able to remove this one from the other one. Uh, but basically this is the part that you're looking for so let's go ahead and pull the old one out and change them out all right to remove the um, air filter canister you're going to need an eight millimeter bit to get these screws off here along along the edges of it good okay take the cover off there you have to remove your air filter because the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take off the air air filter canister and detach it from the throttle body using 10 millimeter, uh, removing the 10 millimeter bolts. Okay, so we removed the air filter canister and detached it from the throttle body right here. So all this, now we have all this space. So now you can take a look here. Here's the computer right here. And then you've got your inputs here. There's four of them that need to be removed. And we'll just have to slide the red clips to unlock them and then we'll be able to detach them there's one bolt up top which is I believe a 10 millimeter two on the bottom that that's all that needs to come out and we can pull that off so let's go ahead and remove that okay so get that one out of the way And the computer is actually has color codes on it, so you'll know exactly where to match uh, the harnesses that you're pulling off. Okay. That one's there. And they actually come out pretty easy, so there we go. All of them are removed, as you can see. So the computer is now ready to come out. We've removed the top bolt. We're going to remove the two bottom ones, which are 10 millimeters, and then slide that out, put the new one in. Okay, so we have the computer completely unbolted from the harness that holds it. However, unless you want to remove your radiator fan, you won't have clearance to pull it out. So you're going to have to loosen the harness, the uh, kind of the frame here for it. There's a 10 millimeter nut right here. Go ahead and loosen that so you can pull that back a little bit so you can slide that out. There's also two more uh, 10 millimeters down here on the bottom of the uh, holder or frame, whatever you want to call it, for the for the ECU. Um, one here and then one here. You'll have to go ahead and remove them as well. All right. Once you have that bracket out of the way, then the computer will just slide right on down. Pull that right out gently. There you go. Okay, now that you have the mounting bracket and the computer off, it's easier just to go ahead and attach the computer to the bracket while you have it off. And then you can just then just mount the entire assembly back into the cart, tighten it by hand, then go ahead and get your ratchet at the uh, 10 millimeter bit. Go ahead and tighten them on there. All right, well the new computer's in. Everything's been attached. All the plugs here, as you can see, have all been put back in. Put in little red locks 
locked down, everything's good to go. So now we're ready to put back in the, the air filter canister, connect it back to the throttle body, and then we can go ahead and start it up and give it a shot. Okay, well, everything's put back in, everything's working good. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like it, subscribe, send any comments, and we thank you again for watching.